What's up, guys? Thank you guys for coming to this epic box break on Pokemon Day. So yeah, we got the, we're doing the Pokemon a little dirty. We got the Yu-Gi-Oh today, Metal Raiders. So I think this is gonna be an awesome box break. And we also have a giveaway for this live. So in this live, I'll be giving away these three cards. We have a change of heart to respect our Metal Raiders here. So Metal Raiders, Change of Heart, Thousand Eyes Restrict, and a Flame Swordsman. Make sure you guys like the vi like the live stream, and then after the the live is over, you can go leave a comment. That's how you'll enter the giveaway. So that's what we're doing for that. I'm also giving away this Trihorn Dragon on Twitter when we hit 2,000 followers. I think we need about 60 more. So if you guys go follow me over there, we can get that pretty soon. And I'll give that one away. So how are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing really well. Also, I mentioned on uh, the last video, if you guys haven't seen it, I do have three more of these. So if you guys have an offer, if you want to trade me or even offer just to buy it, then let me know. Um, but I've had some pretty good offers so far. I haven't accepted any of them yet. But all right, what are you guys doing? What's up, guys? What's up, Scott? Skull, can we get a summon skull? We never pulled one from an original pack, so that'd be pretty cool. This, by the way, I saw you guys chit-chatting about it. This is, I believe, a Gate Guardian box. Here's the code. So Gate Guardian is 49 in first edition, and Thousand Dragons in like the 50s, so I think this is Gate Guardian Unlimited. J Change of Heart and Black Skull, it sounds like a good one. I'd be down for that. Warrior Zero, how's it going, man? Dustin, how's it going, dude? I'm still waiting on my uh, my trade for one of your cars. <laughs> uh, I'm doing good, LOL Gob. Going to the beach today, huh? That sounds fun. I'm on time this time. Let's go. That's like two or three in a row now. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, and by the way, guys, at 60K, you guys know we're opening up all six. Let me just grab them and show you guys. We're going to up all six of these tents. And let's try to hit 60 today. I mean, why not? So I'll show you guys all the tins we're going to open if we hit 60. Here we go. All right. Let's get all these out of here. This is all going to be in one video, too, so this is going to be fun. We are going to open the Panther Warrior. We've got Vorse Raider. Yeah, nice. Xerion Universe, the debated GOAT card. Pretty cool. Rocket Warrior. Guilford the Lightning. And finally, everyone's favorite, the Dark Magician Girl. So we're going to open up all those in one video if we hit 60,000. Well, when we hit 60,000, I guess, eventually. But if it's today, then I will record it. Yeah, we're getting really close to 60, guys. Really close to 60. So subscribe if you're not already. That'd be cool. All right, let's put these away so we can get to the, the real event. Panther Wool, you. Yeah. Uh, hype for the new Pokemon games? I think the Pokemon games look really cool, actually. Since it is Pokemon Day, I guess we'll do that. But MRD Box Battle? I don't know about that, Yugi. <laughs> Maybe. We'll think about it. <laughs> we should get first editions if we're going to do that. That'd be sick. Yeah, this, this though... When you open Metal Raiders, guys, just go ahead and just go ahead and throw up a prayer for no seven tools of the bandit, horn of heaven, or magic jammer. Just do it now. The other seven ultras are insane. So just come on. For for the people who are in this break, we do not want them to pull those. Oh, how's it going, Lucas? Pecanio Moth better be in here. Or we're gonna be mad. All right, guys. Yeah, this is going to be lit, so I think we'll give them a couple more minutes for people to get in here, and then we'll get started. We'll open this thing up. 24 packs of Metal Raiders. Pequeno Moth. Let's go. Hey, can you guys hear the music, by the way? Can you hear the background music, Sacred Cards or whatever? Let me know if you can hear it. What's up, Psyhawk? Mark, not yet. We haven't started yet. Yeah, pray for the no for the horn. Oh, Paladin, don't do that to us. No guard. Hey, Gardenia isn't that bad. It's just a super, so I kind of like Gardenia. It's not that bad because it's not. It's just a super rare, so it's not taking anything crazy. What's up, Proverb? Change of heart would be sick. I I don't have I pulled that on video. Maybe not. Yeah, get, if we pulled all three pieces, that would be really cool for Gay Guardian. Music's at a great level. Okay, perfect. All right, good. It, well, it, it's supposed to be a little bit quiet. I don't want it to be too loud. I'd rather it be more quiet than loud. I just want there to be something back there because we've been doing it without music. 
Um, hit a dab? No, this is, this is in 2017. <laughs> What's up, Marcel? Perfect. We're doing good, guys. Yeah, Garnice is not that bad. I think I think he gets a lot of hate, but he's kind of cool, actually. The Elephant Man. What's up, Black Dragon? All right, are you guys about ready for this? If you're ready for the uh, the thing to be open, go ahead and say ready. If you're not ready, say let's wait. So go ahead and spam it in the chat. Let me know. It's up to you guys if we start. Because we can hang out a little bit longer if you want. A Yu-Gi-Oh! collection video? I have done a few. I've done the top 25 recently. I did the Ghost Rare video. I'm probably going to do an Ultimate Rare video. That was suggested in the comments. My favorite from this set is probably Summon Skull, B-Skull. There's so many. Gate Guardian, Thousand Dragon, Time Wizard. Time Wizard would be cool too. I mean, there's Solemn Judgment. What's up, Caleb? Lost Plaque Magic Ultra? Um, yeah, that seems to happen a lot with us. <laughs> Ready, ready, ready. You guys are ready. You guys look ready. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. This is one of my favorite sets in Yu-Gi-Oh. This probably is my favorite set, to be honest. People ask me that a lot. Um, it, I think it's better than LOB. In terms of prices, it's lower, but it's 7 out of the 10 Ultras are amazing. And then Magic Jammer I like as well, but it's not great. And there's just a lot of good, there's a lot of good stuff in here. So the, both secrets are great. You know, there's not a dud secret. A lot to Quinn. Thanks for the donation. I appreciate that. So there's just a lot of solid stuff. The super rares are pretty good. I think it's a good set. So let's go ahead. You guys look like you're ready to go. Let's go ahead and break this thing open. 24 packs. This is going to hurt a little bit. This, These have gotten really expensive. These unlimiteds, they're insane. So so yeah, it's, it's a little bit crazy. But go ahead and thank everyone in the live for letting us see this. So this is going to be cool. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open. We're just going to... Gonna do the uh, the painful thing and look away if you're if you're interested in the sealed boxes. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Metal Raiders Unlimited. First time opening Metal Raiders on the box breaks. So now we'll go open Metal Raiders, Magic Ruler, Ancient Sanctuary. What was the other one? Didn't we do another one? I feel like there was another one. No, there's definitely another one. Oh man, this thing is this thing is a. Uh... By the way, I forgot to mention this had like a weird seal. So this is why we're opening this one, just to make sure it's legit. And if it's not, I have another box. So Deshaun Dunn, this thing is like, these feel like these, this box feels mint. Like I can barely move the, the things. All right. So if it, if it turns out to be a scam or something, then we will just pop open another one. Deshaun, thanks for the donation. Appreciate it. So we have 24 packs here. We're going to mix these up. So let's be a little careful with them. You don't want to damage it. These packs are in really nice condition. Wow, these are really nice. A solid high five, Luis. Um, I would love to get a high five, but I'm probably gonna have to pass on that one. <laughs> on that, uh, on for the trade. Summon Skull, okay, here we go. Dave, oh, hit me up, Dave. Well, we can maybe figure it out. I'd be interested. Okay, let's get these in the right spot. Should we put them back in the box or not? Baboon, thank you, dude. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. 20 bucks. That's a big one. That's big. I, I really appreciate that, dude. Okay, should we put them back in the box? Yeah, let's do it for, for the uh, for the epicness. Happy Saturday. How's it going, guys? All right. Okay get this in a non glary spot how about right there and let's start this thing up so over 600 of you guys in here only 173 likes what are we doing drew e he wants the fire pulls for 15 bucks thank you dude 15 dollars that's a big donation you guys are killing it right now i appreciate all that guys so let's see back in the box yeah we got to get it back in the box i think you guys are right let's get everything set up let's get it ready to go hope you guys are doing well by the way i have not done a twitch stream in a while if you guys are twitch followers but we got to do the Exodia deck. It's been it's been really fun. I've been playing it off stream. What is the biggest pull? Um, probably either Gate Guardian, Summon Skull, or Beast Skull. These are unlimited, so I'm not sure the exact what the prices are, but they'll go for a decent amount in PSA 10. Okay. Smash that like, guys. Here we go. First person we have is Jeffrey F. He got two packs. Hey, Derek. How's it going? We got two packs here for Jeffrey F. Metal Raiders Unlimited, but these are the square logo, so a lot of people ask, 
what's the difference? So you see this logo, that's the number one way to tell a 2002 pack, just really easy like that. The new ones have a completely different logo. And also the cards are just, they're made by upper deck, so the quality is really great. All right, two packs. Jeffrey F. Let's see if we can get something good. All right, first pack. Hopefully we get the secret. Last time we did one with Ancient Sanctuary, we did not get the secret. So we're hoping that hoping that, that doesn't happen this time. Solemn Judgment's a great pull. Last time I opened Metal Raiders, I opened first edition myself and we pulled Magic Jammer. But that Magic Jammer did get a PSA 10 and so did the Beast Skull. So it turned out to be a good opening. First pack, here we go. We have Electric Lizard. Can we get the legendary Pecanio Moth? Ryukishin Powered. Mystic Horseman. Illusionist, Faceless Mage. And a Hoshingen. That's just the star. The star boy, but not actually. <laughs> the Skull Knight, probably my favorite common, besides, of course, the Pecanio Moth. Blue X, thank you for the two bucks. Yeah, go live on Twitch. We might be able to do that today. We'll see. But the whole Logan Paul thing is tonight, so I kind of do want to watch that. Even though it is Pokemon. I don't know. It's very disrespectful. But, <laughs> you know, it is a big deal. It's going to be a huge event. I kind of want to see that. So maybe if it's after. Maybe we'll do it after, like, later. All right. Jeffrey F. Here we go. Here's a, here's a secret in every box. Yeah, apparently people actually do think they're a secret in every box. So if you, I'm just going to let you guys know in old school box, that there's not a secret in every box. There is usually like one every two. That's, that's what my experience is. All right. Here we go. Next pack for Jeffrey. Here we go. Big eye. Cybersaurus. There's a ton of fusion monsters in this. It's just random stuff. At least they're not rares anymore. At least they're just regular old uh, commons. Jellyfish. Let's get something good here. Cheerful Coffin. Can we get Gate Guardian right off the bat? Mylas Radiant. Oh, Harpy Lady. Destroyer Golem and Ring of Magnetism. It seems like we always start slow, except that the Magic Ruler. We did start fast with that one. So we got a Mylas Radiant. So Jeffrey F., thank you, but two rares. That stinks. I don't like that. All right. I'm hoping we get seven foils out of this box if we get the secret rare. Sometimes you'll usually get six, sometimes you'll get seven. Seven is great when you get the secret rare and you get your two ultras and your four supers. I've even seen ones where you get three ultras in, a, in an ultra, or in a, uh, what am I trying to say? Secret, there we go. Okay, let's set that down. Okay, next person we have Book of Kin. Okay, Book of Kin, we've opened two packs and we pulled two rares so far, so a slow start, but here we go. We've got Jacob T, guys. Jacob T. Uh, 36 pack is not guaranteed. No, it's not. Because I've opened a few 36 pack boxes and I did not pull it out of Legacy of Darkness. And maybe there's one more. I don't know. But you have. A, I think you might have a better chance, but their secret ratios were never announced. It's just speculation. But I've opened so many boxes without a secret that I know it's just not guaranteed. Okay, next pack. Jeff, or not Jeffrey. Jacob T. Here we go, Jacob T. We got one pack for you. Harpy Lady is a nice pull. That's true. Good point. Have I ever seen two secrets? Yes, I've seen three secrets. F-Man opened a Dark Crisis 24-pack box and pulled three of the retail secret instead of the hobby secret. It was really weird. So I've seen that. And then also Fiche pulled both secrets. So it was an error box where he got the hobby and the retail secret out of Ancient Sanctuary. So there's some pretty crazy stuff that's happened. So it could technically something crazy could happen. So we have Tongyo. The, they had some crazy misprints and stuff. Lava Battle Guard, but usually it's not going to happen. Morinfin. The Unhappy Maiden. Here we go. Let's pull something good for Jacob. Shadow Ghoul. Okay, that is such a... Okay, the, thi the reason I like Metal Raiders, the commons are rare. There's some really cool cards, like this card. Like in LOB, there's like Pot of Greed, and that's it. That's like the only common or rare. In Metal Raiders, you got Magician of Faith. You got Shadow Ghoul. You've got... Um, what am I trying to say? Um... Oh, I can't remember. It's it's I'm blanking on him. Uh, Witch of the Black Forest, Sangan. Just all those good rares. The commons, of course, Pequeno Moth. I mean, of course, Skull Knight. There's such good ones. Leogan, Ancient Elf, Niwator, all classic, and Dragon Piper. What does Niwator mean again? Spam in the chat. MRD, best Yu Go box ever, LOB. I my opinion, I think MRD is my favorite. That's that's just my opinion, though, of course. You guys can like I think LOB has really great foils and really cool cards there. But under that is where it kind of falls off. Uh, of course, Pot of Greed is nice. Yeah, Shadow Ghoul is pretty nice. So that was for Jacob. Thanks, Jacob. 
All right. Can you take Dark Magician? No, that's in Legend of Blue Eyes. That's the first set. This is the second set. You can get Summon Skull in here, so that's another iconic anime card. Playing Game Boy Advance games? Yes, we will continue playing that. We're probably going to up to, up to uh, Reshef of Destruction, because Sacred Cards was a little too easy for us. Fisher is deeply offended. Fisher is a good card, but is anybody that hyped when they pull a Fisher? It's kind of like, oh, that's not bad, but... Proverb, that was for Jacob. Jacob T. Okay, next is Edward F. Here we go. One pack. So far, no foils. Half of the LB Ultras, I don't think they suck. I mean, what do you think sucks? If you say Exodia Limb, if it's by itself, it sucks. But if you have the whole Exodia set, that's sick. I mean, you know? I guess you could say Gaia, but Gaia's cool, though. Oh! The legendary Pequeno Moth. Dun dun! That's awesome. Pequeno Moth. This is for Edward. He's already hit the biggest card in the set. Armored Lizard. Spam the Pequeno Moths if you have them on the emotes. Do it in the chat. Armored Lizard. We got a Niratori. What does this stand for again? Or what does it mean in Japanese? Not stand for. Bistro Butcher. Sangan. So there's another nice rare. Germ Infection. That fits along with uh, <laughs> what we've been going through for the last year. Seven Colored Fish and Killer Needle. All right. Nice. Edward F. Sign the moth. I will sign if he wants me to, but it is mint, so I don't know if he wants me to do that or not. I don't wanna I don't wanna mess up anybody's cards. Yeah. The best limb is the one you're missing. That is true. You're like, come on, where's the where's the last limb? Uh sealed the sacred cards. Yeah, I think that the one guy's been selling them for $45 for a really long time. So they're not worth too much right now because a lot of people have them, but eventually they will be. Okay, Joseph W, one pack. So far, no foils. So, z zero hollows, but we're not worried yet. We're not worried yet. Usually we start slow. <laughs> Having the Pequeno Moth emo, yeah. My favorite character? Oh, there's some good ones, I don't know. I mean, obviously when Yugi turns into Yami, that's pretty awesome. Kaiba's great, Joey's hilarious. I mean, they're just all really good characters. Tr I like Tristan, he's a great side character. The Little Swords on Avail. Let's get something for Joseph. Block attack. Joseph. Big eye. Here we go. Oh. Musician King. Yeah, the Witch of the Black Forest and Lady of Faith become a musician. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Witch of the Black Forest and Lady of Faith. Two ladies that become the Musician King. <laughs> okay. Interesting. All right, next card. Muka Muka. Actually kind of a cool card, but definitely not the one you're looking for. Skull Knight. Nice card. Guardian of the Loud. I mean, just look at that. That's a cool card. Tainted Wisdom. This becomes Skull Knight. It's Ancient Brain and Tainted Wisdom. It's so weird. I just noticed that the other day. Harpy Lady. A lot of people love this one. That's a nice card. All right. We're almost at 300 likes on this live, guys. Can we get to 500 likes? Can we do that? Niratori means chicken. More of a Dark Magician guy. You don't like Tristan? They still make boxes. They make boxes, but they don't make uh, Metal Raiders anymore. They haven't made a Metal Raiders box since like 2003, I think. I think they were making some back then. All right. What's up? What's up, Yami? How's it going, man? Okay, Christopher P is up, but he's got three packs. So he's getting serious here. He's got three packs for us. We are going to hit. I have a good feeling we're going to hit a foil here. Will I open any Pokemon packs? Maybe eventually. I haven't right now, but I might in the future. Three Metal Raiders packs. Christopher P. Here we go. Smash the like button. <laughs> Yoda. Smash it, you do. <laughs> Alright. First pack. Here we go. For Christopher P. Little boy Jason. Thanks for the donation. Appreciate it. Deep Sea Shark. Sort of deep seated. Pump King, the King of Ghosts. Yeah, you guys can go ahead and uh, block Yu-Gi-Oh! Empire. Yeah, he's making his 15th account. So go ahead and block him, bots. Guilty of the D-Knight. Oh! Gate Guardian! Secret rare for Christopher P. He got three packs and it paid off. Oh, let's check this thing out. Oh, this thing looks minty. The centering is awful. The centering is awful. Wow, that looks good. Gate Guardian. Wow. 
That is amazing. Secret rare. Ira, just go ahead and block him. Don't time him out. That is amazing. Secret rare. Christopher P with the first foil. It's a secret rare. Okay, let's see what he had in the rest of his pack. Mega Thunderball and Ancient Brain. There it is. The other half of Skull Guardian. Let's go. Gate Guardian secret rare. What a pull. What a pull, Christopher P. That is nice. That is super nice. Two packs left still. Wow. Has anybody got a price on like a near mint? Because this is a mint one, so it'll be a little bit more. But has anybody got a near mint price? Probably like 50, 60. But if it's mint original, that's the thing. The problem with looking these up is if you look on TCG Player, they're all reprints. But they don't actually say it. So hopefully, I would say it's worth at least 100 bucks for sure. And then if you grade it as a 9, it'd probably be worth even more. Ask if you want to get Guardian graded. Yeah. PSA 10 sold for $500. So what is a 9? Like $200? That's pretty good. Yeah, unfortunately, the centering is pretty off, but that's a really nice card. Let's go to the next pack, guys. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, Unlimiteds are 500. Like, Unlimited is getting crazy, guys. And what? do you know if that was a reprint or not? If that sold for 500? 70 to 80 near mint. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's the thing. When you value these OG cards, you can look up near mint on TCG, but if they're reprinted and they're just near mint, it, the prices are lower. So, like, a mint original will go for more than a near mint um, um reprint what a pull okay good start okay is he gonna pull another foil here can he do it let's see what we can do electric lizard christopher is on fire right now right he powered mystic horseman white magical hat everyone knows this one now this card went from a zero to everyone knows it because of the progression series <laughs> it's a really good card though wow there we go. So first or second pack, nothing in that one, but that's okay. We should definitely, um, I'm going to go ahead and double sleeve this gate guardian. Where did I put my sleeves? I, that's what I forgot. I knew I forgot something. Double sleeve these. All right, we got our double sleeves. By the way, someone was asking me, I'm using the sleeves from the Egyptian God box, the prismatic God box to double sleeve because I ran out of other sleeves. So we're gonna go ahead and double sleeve like this. This is how I do it. I do it upside down on the big, the real sleeve. And then I do a penny sleeve like this. Keep it nice and safe. This one is a little bit big, so it barely fits in there. And then I go into the top loader. So you gotta put it in the top loader. PSA 9 folds for $300? Wow. Barris, thanks for the donation. Go Lakers, man. All right, so there is the top loader. And then you go into the team bag. So this is nice and protected. That way it doesn't get dinged up, doesn't get damaged or anything. Doesn't slide out. Got all that protection there. Get your on eBay. Darker color print, $500 for non-reprint. That's for a nine? Wow, that's awesome. There we go, so that's nice. Nice and protected there. We got one more pack for Christopher. The Pequeno Moth. The Pequeno Moth story? What do you mean? It's just the greatest card ever. All right, next pack. Christopher has another chance at a foil, so he could have a really great three packs here if he pulls something. Share the pain. I'm so glad we got a secret rare. That's great. Illusionist Faceless Mage. I didn't get one when I opened my first edition box. Cybersaurus. We got a Jellyfish. And a Harpy Lady Sisters. What an epic opening for him. This one is centered. Little Boy Jason. Thank you, dude. Thank for that donation. All right, Little Boy Jason. Let's, let's sleeve this one up. Harpy Lady Sisters, super rare. I gotta keep these open, I accidentally closed it. We're gonna double sleeve this one too. Yeah, the reprints go for a lot now as well. Which, the reprints are tough to grade, to be honest. They are not easy to get tins. <laughs> I think that, uh, I think that Yu-Gi-Oh! Empire created another account and he's on here. <laughs> Alright, Harpy Lady Sisters, super rare. Really nice. So two foils for Christopher P. That's amazing. Yeah, all corruption exposed is just, uh, he's, what's his name, with another account. So just block him. For some reason, there's people that are just, they just want to be mad. I don't know about you guys. I don't want to be mad. I'm not interested in being mad. Okay, super rare. We have two foils. Christopher P. absolutely killed it. Absolutely killed it. That is amazing. We didn't finish this pack, by the way. 
Armored zombie. Oh, the armored zombie. Infamous armored zombie. Okay. Three packs. That was incredible. Like, that's about as good as it gets. That's about as good as it gets. That's some fire pulls. And I think the Harpy Lady Sisters might actually get a 10. So that would be a nice card. Does anyone have a price on Unlimited Harpy Lady Sisters? Okay. Christopher P. Three packs. Amazing. Good job, dude. Good job. That's good. We got two foils for him. Next up is Walter S. He also has three packs. Also has three packs. Unlimited LOB in front of your friends and got a trap hole. Hey, at least it wasn't a rare. I mean, trap hole is pretty cool. Three packs. It is probably the worst, but... <laughs> okay, three packs. Walter S. Can we pull something good? So far, we have not pulled an ultra yet, though. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get that. All right. First pack. Walter. Can we pull something good? Share the pain. Block attack. By the way, if you guys want to get in on the box breaks, the easiest way is to become a YouTube member. So you can click the join button down below and you guys get early access. And they actually bought most of the packs this time because they got early access. They really wanted it and they bought it. So uh, if you want to have early access with them, you can join and you also get a discount on all your packs for the price of your membership. So if you buy a pack, you actually get your money back. So it's pretty nice. Dream Cloud. So if you want to do that, click the join button down below or the link if you're on mobile. M Musician King. Oh, the Grande Moth. We only pulled one Pequeno so far. Armored Zombie, classic. And the Grande. So one Grande, one Pequeno. Sign what? Edward F. All right, you want it signed? What do you want signed? The Pequeno Moth? Hey, send me a message if you want me to do that so I can remember to do it. Send me a message, like an email or an Instagram or something like that. Okay, second pack for Walter S. Um, are you on, Barris, are you on mobile? If you're on mobile, go to my description and there will be a join link. you got to click that. The join button's only on um, desktop, I think. All right, next pack. Walter S., here we go. Doma, the Angel of Silence. Rainbow Flower, we haven't seen that one yet. This card, or this is actually a huge set. It's like 143 cards or 144. So that's why there, you don't see as many of the comments. Reication Power. Mystic Horseman. Fate Trap. Boo. Okay, Commentary Attack was actually worth quite a bit for a while. Soggy the Dark Clown. I love Soggy the Dark Clown. It's classic. Short Print Pequeno Moth. They knew it was very powerful. Okay, you got it? Nice. All right. Last pack for Walter. Let's see what we can do here. Can we pull him a nice Metal Raiders Ultra? Can we pull him a Metal Raiders Super? How about even a Magician of Faith would be cool. Leaf Olinger. Awesome opening. I always thought Red Eye should be in the sets of Summon School and Beast over here. That makes sense. I mean, I, I get I get where you're coming from. Illusionist, Faceless Mage. That way it could spread it out a little bit. But that those Ultras would be insane. If you had if you had all red eyes in there as well. Cyber Source, take out like seven tools or something. Pale Beast. Which I guess at the time, that was actually not bad. Jellyfish and Elegant Egotist, Empress Judge. Larva Moth, so we got the Middle Moth, the, the Teenage Moth, and Water Emotics, the card that they had to put a shirt on for the English. Oh, man, okay. Walter, thank you for getting in on the break. Unfortunately, just rares on this time. That is, that is sad. Okay. Walter S., three packs. All right, next we have Stephen B., or Stefan, sorry, Stephen B., he got two packs. So we're getting into the second half here. We got one and then two. Two packs. Metal Raiders. Here we go. My favorite MRD card. Ooh, I, I can't decide between Gay Guardian, Summon Skull, Beast, Skull, Time Wizard, all those. There's just so many good options. It's like a big tie for me. Any of those are great. Thanks, Steven. I appreciate that. Two packs. We've got a Destroyer Golem. The Mystic Lamp. The Cheerful Coppin. We're holding the ultras for the end. Lady Defe. And a mass sorcerer. Okay, he was Seabay. Disc magician. Rabbit horseman. Pump King, the king of ghosts. That's a nice one. Definitely a nice common there. All right. Barris, thanks for coming. A new special footage member. That's how you do it. Now you can get early access. If you guys want to do that, if you buy more than one pack, you actually get the discount twice. If you buy three packs, you get it three times. So that's why it's a pretty nice deal. Um, yes, Dennis, you can become 
a member even if you're in Europe. It doesn't matter where you live, I can ship there. You will have to pay extra on the shipping though. That is that is the unfortunate part because it costs me a ton to ship international. So you guys have to pay like an extra, I think it's like $15 or something like that. Uh, it's not per pack, it's just total. If you live in the US, shipping is free because I can ship it really cheap. You ship for like $4, $5, something like that. Um, but if you don't, it's pretty expensive. All right, Metal Raiders. And the only way to differentiate on the website, I can't like add a certain amount. It's just kind of, it's kind of a weird situation. But yeah, you can still become one if you're from Europe and stuff. What type of videos am I planning on doing? At 60K, we're opening all those tins. So guys, subscribe. How many do we need? Like 900, 900 more subs? Let's go ahead and do it. All right, sort of deep seated. Here we go for Stefan. Let's get him something good. Guilty of the D-Knight. You buy a pack, you can buy them online, but I announce them to members first. And then after I announce them to members, I post it on the community tab to everyone else. So the members usually get most of the packs and then whatever's left pops up. If you want to become a member, click the join button. Nibatori. Thunder Dragon, we haven't seen that yet. That's a really good one. Oh, a Karibo, yes! Karibo, a classic card. Such a good super. I love this one. I think this is the only super I have in PSA 10 for Metal Raiders. I love this card. It just looks really it looks really cute. This is a good one. Oh, we got a double sleeve that one. But Dragon Piper, let's see. Germ Infection and Seven Colored Fish. And a Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon is a short print, so that's nice. Dennis. Yeah, I um let's see. I do have Twitch now, Dennis, but um uh, this is the better place. You probably get more out of it here. Twitch is fun. Actually, well, we have been doing quite a bit of Twitch streams, so that's true. Right, and Marcel, I can't send these regular letter because they're too thick. Regular letter I can send cheap, but I have to send all the cards. So if you only wanted the pulls, like the foils, then I could send it regular letter, but then you don't get all your wrapper, you don't get your your commons and your rare, like, I mean, like you get your rare, I guess, but that would be, I feel like you wouldn't want to do that. Maybe you do want to do that. You could let me know. I don't know. All right, here we go. Let's leave this guy up. Karibo. Iconic Karibo. We've done it. We've passed a thousand viewers. Good job, guys. It's lit. Over five, over four hundred likes. Can we get to five hundred here? Five hundred likes on the video on the live. Ziggy, thank you. Steven Perez became a member. Thanks, Steven. I appreciate that. Creepo is too thick. Confirmed. He's a thick little little ball. <laughs> All right, one nice foil for Steven. So or Stefan. I keep saying Steven. Sorry. Time to duel. Oh no. Oh, another footage member. Wait, why is it so blue? I can't see who that is. Ah. Oh, Cody. Cody is a special footage member. Nice. He upped his he upped his thing. I think you were a regular member, right? Or a Discord member. PSA 10 Unlimited sold for $400. That's awesome. Wow. What does the first head go for now? I haven't even looked at mine. When I got mine, it was $200, but that was like a year ago or something. No ultras have been hit yet, so something big coming. Okay. We have 11 packs left in this opening. J Bear became a Discord member. Nice. Yeah, the Discord member. So we have Discord member as the first level, and you can get into the Discord with that. But with the to get early access, you have to be tier 2. So... That it. That's just to clarify for that. They they show the things when you enter it though. Okay, Faciel. I think that's how you say that. Faisal. I I can't say this. I'm sorry, but you get you know who you are. M with the M with the last name. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna <laughs> try and just butcher that anymore. Two more <laughs> two more packs. Okay. First pack. Okay. Let's we gotta check these. Make sure we don't end up with first editions like in that last that last video. L O N. That's the one I was forgotten about. What has been pulled? We've pulled Gate Guardian, we've pulled Karibo, and we've pulled Harpy Lady Sisters. That's what we pulled so far. That Disney is now following on Twitch, I think. I think that popped up through Twitch. PSA 10 Karibo sold for 1300 That should have been in my top 25 video. I didn't even consider it. Wow. That's crazy. J-Bear upgraded. All right, thanks, J-Bear. Appreciate that. Pequeno Moth. Oh, is that deemed? Pequeno Moth. Oh, wait. Is it? I can't tell. 
Okay. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a piece. Armored Lizard. This is for... I can't. No, no, that's for... Uh, Fos Faisal? Faisal? The Bistro Butcher. Little Swords and a Veil. Here we go. Witch of the Black Forest. Probably one of the best rares in the set. That is pretty awesome. I've been using this in my Exodia deck. Ancient Brain. Swamp Battle Guard. And Tremendous Fire. Which, by the way, we will eventually stream. I know. I've just not been able to. I've had so much going on right now. Witch of the Black Forest rare okay one more pack let's see this let's see what yes gate guardian was pulled uh do i have monthly um we've been doing about every one or one and a half weeks we've done one so i don't have one set up next though so it might be like two weeks tca gaming it's pokemon day what are you doing in here dude yeah we have pulled gate guardian tca rusty we pulled gate guardian earlier um also it's pokemon day so this is a Yu-Gi-Oh box just letting you know i don't know if you i don't know if you realize what you're doing here <laughs> but everybody go uh, follow tca gaming on youtube one of the best pokemon channels you can follow the only reason i know stuff about pokemon is i watch TC tca gaming all right protector of the throne we get a jurai gumo destroyer golem need more Yu-Gi-Oh streams yeah we'll be back black dragon blackland fire dragon there you go black dragon right as i said your name Little Chimera. Oh, man. Okay, no Ultras yet, guys. We still have two Ultras left, potentially. Could only be one, though. Sometimes there's just one Ultra, one Secret. Could we pull a Summon Skull? This would be an incredible box. With Harpy Lady Sisters, with Karibo. That's like a super good box. Cope Kia Arthur. I'm saying hi to you, dude. Opening Battle Academy right now. <laughs> nice. Metal Raiders is a, gr is a great pack. Definitely a great set. Huge difference. I thought it'd be $800 or so. Yeah. You're a little late, but we still haven't hit any Ultras. So we haven't hit the biggest cards besides Gate Guardian. Dude, Metal Raiders, I was saying earlier, it's my favorite set, I think. I think I've decided. Okay, Daniel Z. We have one pack. Let's see if we can pull something good. Mirror Force. We haven't. No one's mentioned Mirror Force yet. That would be a great one. By the way, Rusty, if you're interested in the Metal Raiders box, hit me up. I have three more, and I'm. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. Maybe we can do a trade or something. At right, like we got. Uh, we got a few more of these right here. So, I, somebody sold me three, four of them. They said they had four. I was like, yeah, I'll take them. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, Prevent Rat, Launcher Spider. We got a Jinzo number seven. This is for Daniel. Let's go. Deep Sea Shark. Can we pull an Ultra right here? Oh, Sango the Thunder. Slightly faded, too. Has they, have these all been a little bit faded? The Karibo was, I think. Sango the Thunder. Centering's pretty good. Ooh, that's really good condition. I think that's a potential PSA 10 right there. Wow, we this is a great box. So far, all the foils have been really strong. That's Is that four foils now? One secret and three supers, and all of them are ones you want to pull. So far, one of our best openings. We're getting close to 500. Make sure to subscribe, guys. We're getting close to 60. I can't wait to open those epic tins. We're going to open up all 2005 tins. I still need to get all the 2004 tins from somebody so we can do that. Because those are actually really awesome tins because they have Invasion of Chaos and Magician's Force in there. So they're like really good. All right, but that's why another reason they're hard to get. Proverb is killing it, man. Three for three. That's great. Oh, I didn't. I didn't put the uh, the top loader. Here we go. Let's top loader this thing up. Definitely want to do that. Any thoughts on the new Yu-Gi-Oh Kings Court booster box? Have they announced any of the cards yet? What am I gonna style my hair like Yu-Gi-Oh? Moto? <laughs> maybe one day. Maybe one day. <laughs> That's great. Okay, Deep Sea Shark. All GG pieces. We still have two, potentially. Well, we only have one more foil, I think. Potentially. One more super, sorry. Unless there's a old takes plate of an ultra or something. Which hopefully does not happen. All right, Daniel Z got a nice pull there. He has three for three on our breaks. MFC would be awesome. I think MFC is valued about the same as Metal Raiders. So, if somebody has an MFC box and they want to trade, hit me up. We could do that. That'd be pretty cool. All right, Brody C. We got one pack. One pack for Brody. Let's pull something good. We still have ultras. I mean, how many packs do we have left? Like eight packs or something? All right. One pack. 
Here we go. I also have a ton of other stuff I can show you guys that we might do a live on tomorrow, just for fun, like a longer live, and push for that 60k. Kojikaze, Sword of Deep Seated, Guilty of the D-Knight, Electric Lizard, can we pull an Ultra Rare, come on. Princess of Sarugi, it's really saving these for the end, Castle of Dark Illusions. I'm getting worried we're going to end up with a one Ultra Box, which would be a little bit unfortunate, but at least we got the secret, but two would be great. Star Freak, thanks for coming out, man. Have a good one. So Brody got a Princess of Sarugi. Five new members in this. That's pretty awesome, guys. I think we're almost at 100 members total. The Discord has been going crazy. Like, a lot of people have been joining it. And with that special footage member, you do get access to the Discord as well. So that's cool. Okay. Let me show you guys what we can, we're can. we going to be opening soon before we finish these packs. We have... All these Storm of Ragnarok packs. Oh, did I say Storm of Ragnarok? We have more. <laughs> so, this is this could be in a live stream. We have more Generation Force. We could pull the Leviathan Dragon. That would be really cool to do live. And we have more chances at the Leviathan Dragon. We have Ancient Prophecy. We could pull Ghost Rare Ancient Fairy. We have more back here. Where is it? We've got more X Saber power ups, and we have a majestic tin. So we have all that stuff we could open in a live stream. If you guys want to see that, maybe tomorrow. Yu-Gi-Oh first deck collector, what's up, man? By the way, don't change your name. I saw you uh, put up that poll. I think you should keep it. It's it's your it's your brand, man. You got to keep it. It'd be confusing if you change it. Eric Lopez, thanks for the five, dude. Ghost Odin would be crazy. Yeah, we, we could have a huge ghost hunt. Would that not be fun? This is not my full-time job, Harry. This is just, uh, I wouldn't say for fun. I mean, it is for fun, but it, also, um, I'm trying to grow it. I'm trying to grow it. Maybe one day, maybe one day we could be doing this all the time. How many packs do you have? Um, that's, mo that's all. <laughs> that's everything. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Jose S. Two packs. Let's get back into this. I don't have any exclamation points set up in here, guys, so unfortunately. I don't know how to do that, to be honest. <laughs> Going full Ghostbuster? Alright. Let's see what we can pull here. Can we pull an Ultra Rare? How much for a box of what? Hunter. Metal Raiders? You bought was Pharaoh's Servant, you want to get back? I would just start buying stuff that you remember. And also Pharaoh's Servant, you can find at Walmart now. So pretty cool. Okay, Blue Winged Crown, Lava Battle Guard. Kojo Kazi, this is for Jose. Come on, let's get him something. Morinfin. Can we pull an Ultra Rare? Come on. Mask of Darkness, that's our first time seeing that one. Paralyzing Potion, it's actually a decent card. It's like a Magician of Faith for trap cards. Pretty cool. Am I doing more box breaks? Yeah, we'll do more. Right now, I don't have one right now, but maybe I'll get one through a trade for one of these boxes, and then we'll have another one up. Should be in like the next couple weeks, I would think. Or even a week if we can get one like today. Okay, Metal Raiders. Two more packs. Or one more pack for the, of the two packs. That's what I'm saying. Jose, let's get him an Ultra Rare. Where's my Mountain Dew so I can be a professional gamer? All right. Stem Pack, let's go. <laughs> Pequeno Moth, Armored Lizard, The Bistro Butcher, and Starboy. Oh, Castle of Dark Illusions. Have we not hit that yet? Nice common. Hibikime and common are two good commons. Actually, good commons there. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Two foils. Or two uh, packs. Unfortunately, no foils that time. I'm getting nervous, guys. There should still be three more foils in here. If we get seven. If we get seven. We might only get six. So there should at least be two more. Jose, thanks for being in the break. Next, we still have a ton of one packers. Everyone left has one pack. And there's potentially three out of five. There's five packs left. Potentially three of them have foils. So let's start here for Charles V. I did pull a castle already. Okay, I must, I must have just not been paying attention. 
Okay, Charles V. One pack. All right. One pack for Charles. Oh, Gucci. <laughs> the cheerful coffin. You gotta love that one. Lady, this it. We definitely pulled this one. Here we go. Blue winged crown. And Heavy Storm Super Rare. There we go. That's a nice card. That's a nice card. Adam, that's okay. If you don't want to be in it, that's totally okay. Everyone that buys into these understands that you're probably not going to get your money back. That's just how it is. There's only six or seven foils. If you get a foil and grade it to 10, you can make your money back or make more. But the other people are not going to make their money back. That's just how it goes when you open an older pack. It's more for the experience, more for fun. And I appreciate everybody who does it. It just makes the... Uh, it allows me to provide more old school content than I could otherwise. Because if I just buy everything myself and open everything myself, I, which I did for a year, it's it's tough. I have to grind the sales like crazy and then I can only post the videos, oh, Geek of Yami Makai, like every like month instead of every week. So I can do it a lot more because you guys are supporting me by getting the unweighed packs that you probably can't find. A lot of people can't find the older packs and I can get them the unweighed packs and that way we can post it on the video. It's just good for everybody, I think, overall. That's just my opinion on it. A lot of people are, a lot of people are negative about it, but I think most people understand that it's it's for fun and the support, exactly like Warrior says. It's just kind of a mutually beneficial, and it definitely helps me out. It's, there's no doubt about that. It helps out my channel. It helps out, you, and then you guys get to watch more stuff. So I think that's pretty cool. That's just my opinion on it. But everyone's free to their own opinion. It's totally cool. You don't have to participate if you don't want to. So there's Charles V. He got the heavy storm. So that should be our last super, I think. It, there's got please ultras yeah if you're broke don't spend money i advise anyone who is tied on money do not buy into the box breaks that's that's my advice i would only do it for somebody that's interested in just you know having having a good time and stuff and by the way this is a 2800 dollars box this isn't nothing so i had i have to charge a decent amount or i'm gonna take an l on it all right christian r we have one pack left here we go <laughs> potato's gonna potate that's that's about as good as it gets ira one pack, Christian R. Here we go. Here we go. Pull something good. Thanks, bruv. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's okay for you to... Yeah, that's okay to say. It did got held, but... Queen's double. Lady Defe. We've got a Steel Scorpion. Can we get an Ultra, guys? Come on. Please have two Ultras in here. Blue Wing Crown. Let's get a let's get a Summon Skull. Beast Skull. Like button for luck, guys. Smash it. Cannon Soldier, okay. Oh, does that mean there's... Okay, please. Labyrinth Tank. Oh, I love that card. That's one of my favorites. That's a really nice... See, look, like, there's just so many cool commons. It's so nice. All right, three packs left. Three packs left. Oh, man. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'm just... I might record the, the 60K today. I might do that. I'm pretty excited about that. 60K special opening all the tins. Christian R, thanks for being in it. We have three more packs, one each. We got Alex D. Alex D, one pack. Here we go. The Metal Raiders box is coming to an end. Yeah, the Unlims are crazy now, man. They're insane. Yeah. The the first editions are up to like 8K, I think now, or seven. Seven or eight. When I bought or when I bought into that big, big deal that I had, the video on my channel, oh, we got them at like five something, and then they went up. The background music is Sacred Cards, I think. Alright, Alex D. Lava Battle Guard, guys. <sighs> Alex D, let's get him an Ultra. Come on, Mornfin. Please have an Ultra. Pump King, the King of Ghosts. Class Clown. Crash Clown. Crash Class. Time was... Oh, it's a shifted name. Look at that. The name shifted. Whoa, that's so cool. It's not crazy, but it's definitely shifted. Time Wizard, one of the best Ultras. We got to double sleeve this thing. Stream until 60k? <laughs> Maybe we should. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow if we're not there. Time Wizard. Wow. Wow. Ultra rare. That's awesome. That is awesome. Well, you want me... But if I wait until I hit 60k, Nate, then I'll be at 60 and everyone will say, where's the video? And it won't be recorded yet. That's the issue. Time Wizard Ultra Rare. Wow. With the shifted name. Who was this again? Alex D. I think he bought the last pack. He bought the last pack in this break. And he got it. Wow, that's awesome. Congrats, dude. That is really nice. A shifted name. That is really cool. It's not crazy, but it's definitely cool. And it's unique. You'll be able to tell this one from a different one. And it's slightly, slightly faded, too. 
All right, we should still potentially have one more ultra, guys. There might not be. It's possible not to get two. Sometimes you get one ultra and one secret. That could happen, but oftentimes you get two, and if you get a secret, you get two ultras as well. All right, great pack. Great pack for Time, or Time Wizard for Alex D. That's amazing. This has been a great box. G, thanks for the subscription. Oh, it's showing subs now. I don't know how this update thing is crazy. Sometimes it shows the alerts, sometimes it doesn't. So, G, thanks for the uh, for the sub. We're working on that 60K. Time Wizard PSA 9, USD $70. I can't be right. That was December, okay. Yeah, also, this one, um, let's check the centering on it. This one looks, oh yeah, you guys can't see it that well, but centering looks really good. So this could get a 10. I think this one's definitely pretty valuable. Hey, Anime Sky. Notify Clips, what's up, man? All right, we just pulled something crazy. We've had a really good break here. This is by far, I'd say, the best break we've had. Like, in terms of quality, we pulled some really good quality cards. We still have two more two more packs, Connor B and Zach. Okay. Two more packs. Let's see what we can do here. Could we get a crazy box to get two foils here? All right, let's get this box out of the way. Let's just straight up two more packs. Let's just show the nice art on the box. There we go. We're going to start with Connor B, and then we'll finish with Zach. Connor B, here we go. You ended up getting a first set started at Kaiba Dark... Wait, Dark Magician? You started at Yugi Dark Magician? Is that what you mean? That's confusing. All right. Here we go. How's it going in Berlin, Fluffy? Do we have another Ultra in here? Do We could have another Super. That's possible. We could have nothing. That is possible as well. You never know. You never know with these old boxes. The ratios are definitely not consistent. They're pretty consistent, but they're not always. Make sure you're staying hydrated. I haven't had water this whole time. That's a good point, Notify. We got to we gotta take it after this. Prevent rat. Take the water. We got to take some water. All right, Feral Imp. Launch your spider. Here we go. Come on. This one's for Connor. Ooh, Magician of Faith. Oh, that's nice. Blast Juggler. So a nice rare. That's good. Magician of Faith. Oh, I do have OTS 15 yu gi -Mo. Thanks for the five, by the way. We Yeah, we pulled fire, dude. We pulled Time, time Wizard Shifted Name. We pulled uh, Gate Guardian. We pulled great supers. OTS 15. I have 200 pack boxes of OTS 15. I forgot about that. <laughs> I completely forgot. Oh, I forgot to uh, cover the rest of the cards. Launcher Spider, Steel Scorpion. The deck with Dark Magician. Okay, Yugi. So you got a Yugi. All right, nice. All right, guys. Is the last pack going to have something? There's a, there's a chance. We've only pulled six foils. Yugi Goat. Yugi Goat is in the chat. Formerly Yugi Old. <laughs> Bring it back. Bring back Yugi Old so we can never find him when we search him. All right. Final pack. This one's for Zach D. <sighs> can we pull something in the final pack, guys? Come on, Zach. Get us some luck here. This could be crazy. This could be crazy. You had a Magician of Faith the last three times? That's crazy. All right, final pack of this break, guys. Sirius, what's up? Dude, yeah, I won't spoil it for you, Sirius. Some great stuff was pulled. Here we go. Gazelle, King of Mythical Beast. Protector of the Throne. Jurai Gumo. Steven Brick. Steven Brick, did you miss your packs? TCA, thanks for the 10, dude. I appreciate that, dude. I really appreciate that, man. Jirai Gumo. Black on Fire Dragon. This one's for Zach. Final pack. Hit the like button for luck, guys. Oh, here we go. Yes! An Ultra Rare with a shifted name, Barrel Dragon. They both had. They both had shifted name. Wow. Wow. No way. No way. That is crazy. Barrel Dragon Ultra Rare in the last pack. Look at the last pack magic. Our last pack magic on lives is getting insane. It's getting insane. <laughs> it's getting crazy. Barrel Dragon, ultra rare last pack. What an opening, guys. By far our best break so far. I've, it feels a lot better than when you pull bad stuff. <laughs> that is great. Check out that shifted name. That is so cool. Okay, the name is slightly shifted, of course. It's not a crazy misprint, but it's cool to have. Wow. N we did it. Whoever threw up their prayers for uh, for, for no seven tools, no magic jammer, 
and uh, what is the other one? Magic Jammer, Seven Tools, and Horde of Heaven. Um, you guys did it because I almost never, I almost never open a Metal Raiders and don't get one of those. So that's insane. Mushroom Man number two. Wow. Zach B with the final pack. That is insane. Barrel Dragon Ultra Rare. What a way to end it. That is so awesome, guys. This has been a great stream. That was a great box. So, if, would you guys be interested in a stream tomorrow? Should I do another stream tomorrow and open up a ton of those Ghost Rare packs and try and get something cool there? We could open up OTS 15. Maybe I'll make a video for OTS. I'm going to make a no video for OTS. I don't know. Let me, let me know if you guys want to see some Ghost Rare search live. That could be a lot of fun, I think. And I'll be opening up for myself, so I'll be... Uh, I'll be uh, freaking out if we don't pull anything, you know? <laughs> All right. There we go. Zach B. Dude, I'm happy for you, man. That's an awesome pull. Wow. What a great opening, guys. Seven tools. Okay. What a great opening. Metal Raiders. That was awesome. Thank you guys for coming out on Pokemon Day. We had a strong Yu-Gi-Oh! stream, so I love that. That's awesome. You guys want to see it? I love to see it. This was a great time. Ghost from the Past. Going to be a great set. Super hyped for it. Got three cases. Barrel Dragon PSA 10, 200, oh, it was December, it was December, I bet it would sell for more now. Especially a uh, slightly faded, unlimited original. So, how you, so what are you guys thinking? Stream tomorrow? What do you think? You be down for a Ghost for a Live? Yeah, maybe we could do it tomorrow. That could be cool. Alright, well this has been a good time, guys. It's been awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll probably close it down here in a second. Let's see what you guys are saying. Tomorrow is my birthday. Mark Payne. Happy early birthday, dude. That'd be cool. We could open something on your birthday. That'd be awesome. Can't wait for the next one. This is a great time. I'll announce the next one to members first, about 24 to 12 hours ahead of time, and then it'll go to everybody. So if you guys want to become a member, just click the join button or the link for the members in my description. So thank you guys for doing that. Thank you guys for being here. It was a great time. Love seeing all you guys. And that's it for this one. Peace.